Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Chloe. This wasn't my original plan for a video, but I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different today. I thought I could do a mini ASOS haul. I got just a few things that I have been dying to get for so long. They're all pants, but we could probably make some really cute outfits. I'm really excited. I've been literally wanting some of these pants for so freaking long. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> okay. It's only four things, but we are gonna make some really cute outfits out of it, so it'll be good. It'll be great. I was gonna do a makeup look, and that's why I'm not wearing any makeup right now. Maybe I still will. I don't know. I don't know yet. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, we've moved and I've turned the wide angle on. I just noticed that this is like a shopping bag. That is so nice. All right, let's get into it. I got these white shorts. I'm really sorry that the bags are gonna be so loud. I will try to be quiet with them. First things first, I got these mom shorts in white. They are $30. I actually own these shorts. I think these exact shorts in a light blue and a black. So I just wanted white ones. Okay, next. This is probably what I'm most excited for. I got these 90s wide leg jeans in gray. These were the most expensive. These were $50. Hopefully worth it. Okay, after that, these don't look like anything special now, but I got straight leg contrast two-tone jeans in blue. These were on sale for $23. That's pretty good. $23 for a pair of jeans, are you kidding? Okay, and then last but not least, I got these 90s dad jean in washed black. These were also on sale for $34.50. You know, I was about to get on ASOS for packaging each item separately in a plastic bag, but this top one says, hey, guess what? I'm made from 90% recycled materials and I'm still recyclable. But I don't know if that's only this bag because none of the other ones, and like they feel different. Like this feels like normal plastic and this, I just ate it. Ew, ew. Here's what my order page looks like. So every time I buy pants from ASOS, they're actually the only place I will buy pants from anymore because I've never been able to find pants that fit my waist and my hips. There's always like a gap in my waist. Hate it, so annoying. So I found this brand that has been very consistent within ASOS, because ASOS has a ton of different brands, right? It's called Stradivarius. They're all from the brand Stradivarius within ASOS. Oops. Okay, let's try them on. So I'm gonna change it to a different top because this is definitely still my pajama top. No judgment. I'm gonna do that and then we'll get started. Okay, so I've changed tops. I'm just wearing this black tube top I have from Garage just to keep it plain and simple and try everything on first. I'm gonna start with the white shorts. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that these are all buttons all the way up. They fit my waist really nicely. Oh, they're super high-waisted. Whereas the ones I already have are a zipper. These are the two that I already have. They're super long, which is good because I can never find long enough shorts ever. They're like super long, actually. That's perfect though. That's so great. And, and they fit my waist really nicely. Like I technically could go without a belt in these, which like, that's impressive. So like I said, these ones are 30. They're like a little baggy and loose at the bottom. Like in here, they're a little baggy, but I think that's okay. That's totally okay. I really do like how long they are actually. Normally wouldn't go for shorts like this long, but I feel very comfortable with them. I just hate having to constantly pull shorts down. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Next time, damn it you guys, here I am editing and I realized I never hit record for the black pants portion. So my quick review on those is they were super long. I was walking all over them and there was a massive gap in the waist, which I said this brand doesn't give me, but these did. But overall, I did super like them. They were super cute. I'm gonna try on the two-toned ones. My sister said she could fix this for me, so we'll see. And regardless, I feel like it's not that big of a gap. So I might be able to work with it. But in any way, we're gonna try on the two-toned pants. I'm very excited about these, I'm very excited. Okay, the crotch area on all of these is kind of tight when I put it on, but it's fine. <gasps> they're cute, they're not that two-toned. Like, they're not like super dramatic. I expected the two-tone to be a little bit more dramatic, 
but they're still super cute. The length is perfect. But again, we are here with this tiny little gap. But honestly, this one's like not even as bad as the other one. Like I just put a belt on with this and it should be good. You can see the two-tone better in the back. These are also buttons, which I'm like not against, but I just think I would prefer a zipper, honestly. But it's really not the big deal. I honestly didn't expect to like these that much. Okay, these ones are really cute. I really like these. I like the straight leg. Ooh, these are so cute. Happy dance, happy dance. These are what I was most excited for. The gray wide leg. I'm very excited, but I'm uber nervous that the waist. I'm so nervous about the waist. I really hope it fits, knock on wood. Like, I have been wanting these specific pants for months. They were always out of stock in my size on ASOS and they had them this time. Of course I jumped to them. Time to try. I've only put one leg in and these are super lightweight. Can't get it over my hips. Oh my God, they're so high-waisted. Gosh, wait, these are the best ones. Wait, 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 <gasps> wait. Look at how, wait, how wasted they are. This is like the shortest crop top I have, I think. This fit me the literal best in the waist that ASOS was like, oh my God, tight. What, they're actually really lightweight. They're a little long, that's the only thing. Stop it. Absolutely no gap. This is normally how ASOS jeans fit me. The Stradivarius ones, I should say. This is normally how Stradivarius fit me. Like, I can tuck my hand in there, but it's like tight. Like, that is just tight up. They're a little long. I might wanna hem them a little at the bottom. I'm just, I'm really short. I did really save the best for last. These fit me the best. I might need to stretch out the waist a little bit though. Make sure I can breathe. Like I said, they're a little long. You can already see that. I can't believe how lightweight they are, honestly. These ones are good. These ones are nice. I love these. I love these. So I think these ones I will need to hem because even with my platform sandals, like it goes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm that short. Yes, I am. We been new. Okay, honestly, now I'm like tired. Why is it so much work to try and close? Okay, outfit number one. I have paired this with my bodysuit turtleneck, some layered gold necklaces, some gold hoop earrings, and these like Keds looking shoes um, that are literally from Five Below. My top is from Marshalls. I got it in like a set of two. I have a black version of this as well that is a bodysuit. Super cute. I love these even more now that I've turned them into an outfit. Honestly, I love this outfit. I will probably wear it to brunch tomorrow with my friend. This is great, except for the fact that I am literally walking on the pants because they are so long. So thank God my little sister knows how to sew and is really good at it because I am going to make her trim these up for me a little bit. Okay, we've got outfit number two. Top is also from Marshalls. Paired it with my earrings that I got from the Etsy shop and my black platform sandals. Super cute, love the open back. Just threw a hair scarf in. No necklaces with this one because I feel like this is something that you can't wear necklaces with, so. Okay, this is outfit number three. Put on this H&M green top. I love it. It's got some like pink and blues in it. I do like currently have to wear these ones with a belt because of the gap in the back, but that is totally okay. Because of that, I am wearing silver. I don't own very much silver jewelry, but I did put on my silver hoop earring. I paired it with my pink high top converse to match the pink that is in the shirt. Super cute, I love it. These are not as long as the gray ones, I don't think. But I am still gonna have my sister tailor them a little bit for me, especially in the waist. I'm gonna see what I can do with that. Otherwise, they're really great. Soup's cute, love to see it. Oh, and duh, I paired it with my little green butterfly clip because of course, matching is everything. Okay, final outfit for the day. I just put my nameplate necklace back on with my small gold hoop earrings. I got this top from, I got this top from Sun. I absolutely love this top. It's one of my favorites that I own. It's so cute. I just got it recently as well. I currently have this paired with my white Converse that I almost forgot I had. I haven't worn them in so long, but I have another option. Here are the white Converse. 
cute, okay. Or I've got these yellow checkered bands. I think the checkers throw me off too much with the flowers, so my vote is white combers, which my white combers are so stained and dirty that they look like the cream. Perfect. And I think this is going to be my outfit for the day. All right, everyone, that's gonna be all for this video. I think my favorite outfit of them all was the first one. I love those pants. Love the two-toned pants too, though. Ugh, I can't pick. Honestly, they're all really great. They are all very great. I've been filming for like three hours. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. A little bit of a different video this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you like seeing videos like this as well. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already and leave me a like as it really helps me reach new people. See you guys in the next one.